Good afternoon, everyone. It's the end of May, which is very strange to say because May is the first month this year that really felt like it stretched on for me. The first four months like that, and that worries me that um, time passes very quickly when you're not paying attention. I think I packed an awful lot into May. My exams finished, I got a job, people left, rip. It just feels like it stretched on forever. And so to reflect that, I've got three music favorites, one style favorite and one other favorite. Fight me. But yeah, might as well just get into it because I did spend 12 minutes of my last shooting of this video talking about one album. One album. Okay, music faves. The first one is very much vying for my favorite album of the year so far. It will be very hard to top this unless I grow tired with it over time because it is the glorious return of Vampire Weekend, Father of the Bride. <laughs> First album in six years, which uh, in the current music scene, especially uh, with, with big artists like Vampire Weekend, is completely unheard of. But here's the real tea. This is a great album. Like, I'm obsessed with it. It was really hard for me to pick my three favorite tracks. And while I do prefer the tracks that Danielle Heim is on, there's about 12 of them. There's so much to choose from. And I really believe that this album has something for everyone. And yeah, there's some cringy lyrics and weird things that we didn't really ever expect Ezra Koenig to want to do. But I mean, there are some glorious, glorious moments on this album. That last minute of We Belong Together is unmatched. I think we climaxed a bit early because the next two albums I'm not gonna praise to the highest heights, but they're still my faves of the month. But anyway, next up is Arizona Baby by Kevin Abstract. <laughs> A lot of my relationship with Kevin Abstract as an artist has to do with my friend Dara, who I do talk about a lot in these videos, which is really sad because he's gone away to America for the summer and he's not coming back until after I've gone to Sweden. Piece of shit. Anyway, but Dara's a big fan of Brockhampton, of which Kevin Abstract is a part, and I never really got it. What I do get is Kevin Abstract. American Boyfriend, kind of lukewarm for me. I think if I went back now, having listened to Arizona Baby, I would probably love it. But Arizona Baby, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. While it's not been lauded as heavily as American Boyfriend, it's kind of great. There's something weirdly accessible about it, despite the fact that Kevin Abstract and I have pretty much nothing in common. The, that thematic thread of isolation that runs through every cut on this album really hits me somewhere. And it's weird because I'm not an isolated person who feels isolation very often. And then obviously there are also some absolute bangers on here and some great pop, E songs. I suppose the reductivist in me would like to say that's down to Jack Antonoff's production, but this doesn't sound like anything Jack Antonoff has ever produced in his life. So it's not that simple. My third and final music fave is uh, another sort of recommendation from a friend. This one by Grace, who has also gone away for most of the summer to the other side of the Atlantic. Fucking bitch. This is Designer by Aldous Harding. <laughs> Like I said, Grace recommended me this, just as she recommended me Julia Jacqueline. I listened, I didn't really get it, and I stopped. And then I saw the music video for The Barrel. I think the difference between listening to The Barrel uh, as, as a song for the first time, you're kind of like, oh, why is she taking this so seriously? These lyrics mean nothing. But then you watch the music video and you probably listen to the whole album and you hear lines like, uh, laughing at good work with your ugly son, and you think, okay, this woman has a sense of humor and I appreciate it. They're, the lyrics are, are cryptic. Aldous Harding herself has said that she doesn't even know what they mean. And her performances are very intense. If you watch like a live session that she does, her eyes kind of roll back in her head and she makes weird facial expressions. And it's kind of hard to watch sometimes, but just listen to the music and just relax because this is brilliant. And there's a reason some albums are so critically acclaimed and this is one of Style faves! Okay, I've only got one because I'm trying to save money, but I know for a fact that June is gonna have like three or four, so leave me alone. But nevertheless, this um, garment is kind of fantastic. It's uh, this shirt that I purchased uh, in TK Maxx, much to the chagrin of my dear mother. It is so loud, so unnecessary, so extra. 
but when have I not been extra? There's so much happening here. The primary color is so much. The houndstooth, if that it can even be considered houndstooth. There's also another X pattern. I don't even know what's going on. And I just love gauzy, viscose shirts with aggressive patterns. That's just my summer vibe. And now for the miscellanies of, of May. These are my other faves. First off is a book I finished uh, the day before yesterday. It's called Little Fires Everywhere and it's by Celeste. Hmm. Maybe showing my whiteness in not knowing how to pronounce her last name. If anybody wants to put that in the comments, please do. This book is a sort of a drama novel. Uh, I know Reese Witherspoon is making it into a, a mini series, which is good for her. It's uh, the story, there's no real one main character. It's the story of two families the Richardsons and the Warrens. All of their lives sort of intertwine over the course of a year and shit happens and it's beautiful and touching. And there's also a court case involving uh, an adopted uh, baby named the best book of the year by the Washington Post, Esquire, GQ, The Guardian, Goodreads, and many more. Excuse me. It's very, very good. And I feel like it is a book for everyone. It explores secrets and motherhood and class. Excellent. So good, I'm getting back into reading. And finally is the Netflix original TV series, Russian Doll, starring Natasha Leon. I'm not gonna lie to you, Natasha Leon seems to play the same character in Orange is the New Black as she does in Russian Doll. But if you can kind of look past that, she's kind of immensely talented and her dialogue throughout this entire show is fabulous. Basically this woman, Nadia, it's her 36th birthday, I think, and she is in the bathroom and she goes out and she interacts with the people at her birthday party, uh, hosted by her friend who uh, keeps saying, sweet birthday, baby. And then she goes home with a guy, hooks up with him, whatever. And then she gets hit by a car. And then she finds herself back in the bathroom at the party, looking into the mirror. And this happens again and again and again and again. It's very much a mindfuck show, but unlike a lot of other mindfuck shows, it doesn't take itself too seriously, which is like, the deal breaker for me with a lot of these shows. Uh, okay, those are all of my uh, favorites for the month of May. I can't believe I got through this. That was nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free, and I mean this, feel free to give it a like. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos of mine uh, because I upload every single week, provided I have the energy, time, and creativity to do so. And also if you click the down bar that is uh, beneath my body, you will find links to my Twitter, my Instagram, my Curious Cat, and my Spotify. Well, no, you'll find links to my Songs of the Week playlist because I do that. Why do I do that? My Song of the Week this week because I thought it had already been one, but it hadn't been. So um, here we are is The Barrel by Aldous Harding. It's a great song. You've already seen me dancing to it, so I don't need to do it again. But apart from my Songs of the Week playlist, I've got several other playlists that I think you should go and check out and they're all on public. So you can go find them with a click of a mouse. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Hasta luego.